everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Thursday, July 24th, 2025. Gorontello's tectonic fury is relentless. From 2005, where they had a magnitude 8.4 earthquake, to 2018, Deadly's tsunami, which is located in a triple junction, the next quake could topple homes and disrupt lives and test Indonesia's re resilience. Excuse me. And are they ready for the ring of fire wrath? Gorontalo, Indonesia, located in the Minahasa Peninsula of Sulawesi, is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a highly seismic region due to the convergent. The Sunda Plate, which is off over here, the Indo-Australia Plate, which is down to the south, and the Philippine Sea Plate, which is off to the east. Gorontalo, Indonesia, is a tropical paradise and is on the edge of chaos. Today, July 24, 2025, a magnitude 6.4 earthquake, which was revised to a magnitude 6.3, roared beneath the Gulf of Tomini, and that is this location right here. Shaking about 2 million people and fueled by the Sulawesi's deadly fault. The North Sulawesi's trench, where the plates collide at 5 centimeters a year, drives these disasters with 245 quakes a year. Garantello's faults never seem to sleep. At 4.50 a.m. local time, the earth trembled 113 kilometers west of Garantello, deep in the Gulf of Tamini. Here are some of the felt reports that were sent into EMSE. A deep tremor lasted for about two to three seconds. It woke me up from a deep sleep because some parts of the house were made uh, quite a noise from the shaking. My kids, who are 19 and 21, also woke up and asked, Did you feel the earthquake? However, my wife did not wake up at all. I uh, just saw and felt a shake. And then this other one, let me bring it down, said they felt a micro tremor lasting a split second. Around 3.45, um, I guess that would be a.m. local time. But that was all the way over there in Malaysia. There was no damage or injuries reported due to the deep epicenter. Yeah, it was very deep. And being offshore. Yeah, 89.9 miles in depth. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. And 5 people said they felt it. Here is USGS's felt report map. Okay, this one here. One report which was 145 kilometers oh, to the northwest a little bit. So that would be about 90 miles, a little bit farther. And then we got another report uh, to the uh, northeast, Bitung, um, intensity level 4. Wow. And it was 384 kilometers. That would be about 238 miles. So, yeah, it was felt over a large area. I don't see anything else on here. As I was saying before, in 2018, there was a magnitude 7.5 earthquake uh, near Palu. Um, it was 264 kilometers southwest of Garantello. So, that would be about 152 miles at a depth of uh, 20 kilometers, which would be about 12 miles deep. And it caused a tsunami. And over 4,340 people died. Yeah, um, over that in, in Garanto, though, when, when they felt it, um, it was described as weak shaking. Now, the North Sulawesi subduction zone has ruptured um, by a series of large earthquakes some larger than a, a seven and since the 1990s generally triggers small to moderate tsunamis in the surrounding seas and oceans but the 2018 Sulawesi 7.5 um, earthquake 
rupture the west subduction zone and induce a tsunami that displaced hundreds of people and like I said thousands of deaths these large earthquakes especially the deeper thrust events generate stress loading to the shallow mega thrust that could rupture um, yeah and cause an exceptional tsunami hazard as observed in Sumatra Japan and other subduction zones yeah the same thing could happen here research has shown that a series of uh, magnitude 7 down dipping mega thrust earthquakes have loaded most of the mega thrust area especially in the shallow portion less than 10 kilometers with increased stress implicating a high potential for future large earthquakes yeah and ensuing oversized tsunamis different models have shown that tsunami waves heights could vary between oh maybe you know a couple inches to 43 meters which would be a whopping 141 feet you know and that could occur along the north Suwasi coastlines uh, one other fact that they found is that the end portion of the tsunami waste energy disruption pass pass path excuse me gains a comparable tsunami impact as the region in the rupture area gains a compatible tsunami impact as a region in the rupture zone for all the magnitudes considered highlighting a dual pattern of threatened regions uh, there in the Celebi Sea which is up to the north here yeah so is a larger one coming any earthquake does have a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger here you can see in 1905 there was a magnitude 8.4 that was huge you know the larger the earthquake the longer the shaking um, happens you know sometimes earthquakes can last two to three minutes and you're being shook back and forth maybe three feet or more at a time every second yeah can they survive another large earthquake what are your thoughts is a bigger one coming I hope not I send prayers that it doesn't happen put your comments down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and I'll talk to you later God bless you bye